All right, YouTube, good evening. Uh, I know I promised that I'd do a disassembly um, video on the, uh, the 1911. The only difference that my 1911 that most of them don't have is a compensator, so that's the only thing that's going to be really any different than all the other millions of videos out there on how to take these apart. All right. I'm not going to get into really any of the um, to make or anything like that. I've already done a video on it. So if you want if you would like to look at that and Some of the stuff that I've done to this um, handgun you can subscribe or look up uh, that video in my um, Channel um, Just like any other firearm before you play make sure that's unloaded. I know that this magazine is loaded All right, my magazine is loaded, but I do know for a fact that there's nothing in the slide. Hold on a second and I'll show you. All right, <laughs> I've done racked the slide. You can see down through it, uh, there's no bullets in it, no magazine in it, you can see straight down through. So now that we know that there's nothing in this gun, we are safe to play, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do, um, obviously the very first thing you're gonna do is make sure there's nothing in it, which we've already done. All right, go ahead, rack the slide. You, it's almost easier to leave the hammer already cocked. Um, if you want, you can put the safety on uh, if that makes you feel a little bit better. All right, now mine has a compensator on it. Um, this is where mine gets a little different than most other uh, 1911s that have the bushing. All right, you see down inside down inside the bottom hole where the spring is, uh, you can see the lip on the sides. What you want to do is you can take anything that will fit down inside there. I'm going to do that. They make a special tool to do this, but I'm going to do it the Harry the homeowner way um, for people that don't want to spend 30 bucks for that tool. All right, so all I'm going to use is a simple Allen wrench. I'm going to stick the Allen wrench down inside. And all you're going to do is go down the side of it until you fill the lip. All right. When you'll actually, if you slide across it, you'll hear it, hear it click. All right. Hold on a second. I'm going to do it. I don't have my tripod yet, so this is a little difficult one-handed. Hold on a second. All right. I got it started for you guys. What you're going to do is push down on the side. I'll show you what lip that I'm talking about. Um, once you um, get it down, you're going to rotate the compensator to your left. Okay. You're going to rotate it to the left. Now, before you take this compensator off, which you're going to know this before because you've installed it, you're going to know this. If not, um, if you don't have a compensator and you're looking to put one on there's instead of this compensator being there there's a bushing right here when you take this off you need to be careful that spring has a lot of tension behind it so all you're going to do you're going to rotate it to the left till you hear it until it starts to come out all right see see it starting to come out it will get come out on its own okay All right, now see what I got here? Right here's the compensator. Here's the um, spring bushing. Here's the spring. All right, I'm gonna lay the compensator down to the side. This is what I was talking about. Down inside of here, when this is all assembled, the compensator rides on your bushing, and the little lip that you could see is that right there. You can take anything you that your little heart desires, a flat screwdriver, pencil, sharpie, any damn thing you can think of, as long as it will push that down. All right. Once you get that out, you're going to take the spring off. There's the spring. All right. Mine has been shot a lot, so it is well worn. Uh, mine's a little easier to take, take apart. If you have a brand new one, it might be a little stiffer. Um, next thing you're going to do, um, I obviously let my hammer down 
for the video, but, it, but if you left it straight back, all you're going to do is you're going to pull the slide back to that very, very notch. All right. On the other side, um, mine has the recess button. If yours doesn't, if yours is a flush mount, you can take your pencil, your um, flathead screwdriver, anything that you can. All you got to do is push it. Okay. Once, once the magazine release or the slide, re or uh, yeah, the slide release, I mean, is lined up with that first hole, the first small hole. All you got to do is push it in. Okay. Once you push it in, it will come out. All right. Very next thing you do is you're going to take your slide and you're going to push it all the way forward. It will come off with the frame. Okay. We're going to take the frame. We're going to set it to the side. All right. Now you have the slide. All right. You got your guide rail for your spring. All you do, take this out. Obviously, you just lift it up, pull it back. Okay. Just like so. All right. Now the barrel. The barrel can get a little bit tricky. Mine's probably mine is not that bad because like my like I've said, mine is a well well worn. Um, sometimes you drop. Well, yeah, mine's not a very good uh, one to use for that experience for that um, demonstration. But what you would do is if yours is new or newer, where everything is still st stiff, you don't want your um, eyelet um, to be backwards with it being backwards when if you try to push it forward it it will catch inside the slide and it won't come out all the way all right see that all right so what you want to do is you want to take it push it all the way forward that will give it enough clearance see this has to clear the bottom of the slide it will give you plenty of clearance for that barrel to come all the way out of the slide all right, that is all that you got. All right, so now you got the frame. Um, unless you're doing actual gunsmithing to this frame, there's no reason to take it apart. I will do that in another video. This is just a simple disassembly of a 1911 with a compensator. Okay, so to put the barrel back into the slide. Um, obviously, you want your eyelet to be forward, same exact way that. You took it apart just in reverse all right you're going to bring it all the way back um, i always flip the eyelet back so i know that it's not forward for the next step you're going to take your rod slide it in all right like so take your frame all right Please keep in mind I'm doing this one-handed, so this is a little uh, difficult and hectic to do it one-handed. Uh, Alright, once you get it started, all you're going to do is push it forward. Alright, you'll hear it click. Alright, next thing you want to do, this is crucial. Alright, if you look inside you will see that um, um, part on the barrel and I'm having a brain fart so this part right here is what we're looking at inside this hole okay alright I put the slide back on because I can't do it with one hand alright you can see it move back and forth you want to you want to visually look through it line the hole up all right next thing you're going to do is you're going to take slide release with that all lined up sometimes you got to wiggle it you're just going to straight push it down in it's not going to click or anything like that all right you're going to this is all in reverse stepping here so it's not like there's anything critical about it you're going to bring your slide back to that first notch Bring it in, push it. That's it. All right. 
gun is back apart. It's not going to fall apart. Nothing's going to come out of it. All right, you're going to take your spring. I'm going to do this just for the video. Put the spring on the, on the rod. Put the spring back in. All right. Take your bushing. Put it on top of the spring. And this is where it gets funny. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do this with only one hand, but we're going to try it. So hopefully I don't lose my spring or my bushing. All right, the best way that I know how to do it, if your hammer's back and your safety was on, which mine should have been, um, even though it's unloaded, it safety should always be on. Take your safety off, push your beaver tail safety, pull the trigger, or, or let it down safely, doesn't matter, whichever tickles your pickle. All right, best way that I've learned how to do it is with the hammer down against the slide because then the slide won't, will not move. All right. See, right there is exactly what I was talking about. I'm gonna do this with one hand. It's gonna be a miracle. All right. Basically what you're gonna do, push that down. All right, you're gonna take your compensator, put it on the barrel. Um, one thing with this with the compensators that I did not show you that I will right now before I forget You see there is a lug on the compensator where Inside your slide You will see there's a place for the lug to fit. Okay All right, so we'll put the spring back in real quick Put the bushing back on All right, now we're back to where we were. All right, now remember this bushing has has a spring tension on it. So you need to keep pressure on it. All right, so at the same time, you're going to push down on the compensator and turn it, okay? Like so, until it goes down inside the barrel and it will lock like, like this. Um, I did this so you can see what it will do. Um, let me go ahead and put it together real quick and I'll show you the end result. All right, once you get it together, that's what you have. It can be a pain in the ass to put these compensators back on. Um, a lot of times you'll get marks on your fingers like mine. Um, just be careful um, since it is spring loaded that bushing if you let go of it it will fly off and it could be lost forever um, just keep that in mind it, it, it that spring does have a lot of tension on it um, but that is the disassembly of a 1911 with a compensator on it um, if you have any questions please let me know I'll do my very best to try and help you out um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm new, so I don't have very many videos yet, but this is my Rock Island 1911 um, Taylor's Tactical that is done here in Winchester, Virginia. Um, check them out at Taylor's Ta taylorsandcompany.com. They're really nice people. Um, thank you, and have a good night.